Morning Tom. We seem to have arrived before anyone else today. Hi Kathy, I am glad you are here. I wonder, do you have time to continue our discussions? There don't seem to be any clear rules on how to create a large density of interfaces in a material, other than the need to introduce retained DOS tonight. No problem Tom. Always have time for you. Imagine that we produce the structure by phase transformation. Then there is a general rule that low transformation temperatures are conducive to fine scales. I see, because diffusion distances decrease and driving forces increase when a phase is supercooled. A second condition might be that the heat of transformation should be small. Of course, we do not want the sample to heat up by recalescence. And for the same reason, we should aim for transformations that are slow so that the heat can be dissipated. Kathy. We seem to have moved away from severe deformation to the creation of nanostructures by phase transformation. You are quite right, Tom. I think that deformation limits the form of the material, for example, wires or thin sheets. In contrast, transformation can be applied to many shapes and sizes. Excellent point. To summarize, nanostructures by transformation require low temperatures, slow reaction and a small heat of transformation. Along with a work hardening capacity, we have just formulated a general framework. I am quite thrilled. Tom, let us go and celebrate. Fancy a coffee. I don't think the others will be here until 10.30.